Good morning, folks. I imagine most of you already know the news. We've got at least two CMEs heading for Earth, the first of which could arrive tonight. An X-9 and X-7 solar flare sequence and CMEs are on their way. NOAA's official forecast is posted. We'll get right into it with the last 24 hours on our star. X-9 on the south, followed by several eruptive events, especially if note are the ones just right of center on the south. The sunspots are huge and could easily flare again, but right now let's go over what we know is coming. First, here's the X-9 solar flare yesterday. It was the largest of solar cycle 25 so far. It was a powerful eruption at the southern sunspots and happened right after our morning show yesterday, necessitating that second upload. We had showed the coronal mass ejection signature on SOHO and suggested we didn't need to wait for the endless spiral to know it was heading our way. But now the NOAA Enlil spiral is updated, and it has both the X7 and X9 events on there. Initial forecasts confirmed. You can see them leaving our star and impacting in succession about 24 hours apart, starting tonight. The closer they actually are to hitting back-to-back, -back, the more extreme the resulting geomagnetic storms will be. There is the possibility for very good auroral visibility starting tonight and continuing through the weekend with NOAA forecasting a G3 KP7 solar storm. That can be relevant for minor technological issues, but is unlikely to have devastating effects. The coronagraphs show not only the big halo from the X9 event, but subsequent eruptions leaving the right side from M-class flares and breakout field releases. It is possible we take a glancing blow from one of those as well, but they are significantly less potent than the first two. We're watching for further CME activity today as the sunspots are suddenly enormous. And not just the southern departing complex that has been making the flares, but the incoming spots as well on the left. Eyes open for more flares today and for the arrival of the shock waves and the solar wind. Quick science note. NCAR has developed a brand new way to monitor coronal magnetic fields on the sun. This will not only aid in further characterizing their changes over time, but it could help forecast eruptive activity hours before it occurs. Let's hope. And if you didn't hear, tomorrow, Saturday, would be an outstanding day to come out to observe a ranch. The special forces will be across the street with some very cool toys. Special forces, suspicious observers, observer ranch, Hoping I get to shake some of your hands this weekend or at one of our other upcoming events, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.